fourth and four. Murray on the move, trying to spin away from trouble, and Max Crosby can't hold him. Still on the move. Murray throwing. End zone. Incomplete. But you have a flag in the end zone, so you got a hold a holding on the Raiders defense. And that flag came early in the down. Boy, oh my god. This is this is pretty this is a Prior fun game. Pass, holding defense number 33. At least half the distance to the goal line. It's automatic first down. That's Roderick Teamer, the third year D back out of Tulane. And there he is. Well, now, so here's the question now. The key on that play is if Murray is in the pocket, right, then, then that's a penalty. But if Murray is outside the pocket, you're allowed to push and shove and hold, and you're allowed to do that as a defensive back. So what's the timing of that play? The flag come early while Kyler Murray is still inside the pocket or when he was scrambling? Based on the timing of the flag, they deemed that Murray was still in the pocket. Well, now the Cardinals at first and goal from the three-yard line. Murray. Throwing. End zone. Incomplete. Ball came out intended for A.J. Green. Second and goal. 11 seconds to play. Uh, that's the second time. I mean, look, that ball has to be caught, right? Yeah. I mean, that... I mean, look at Rock Yassin with that hand placement. I mean, he couldn't put his hand in a better place, but there is no doubt that, you know, one of the premier receivers here in the last decade in football, you know, 34 years old or not, that, that ball has to be caught. Second and goal. Murray, quick pass. Incomplete. Broken up by Jonathan Abram. <laughs> How many close calls are we going to get in a game that just, the ball just bounces a little bit different, and you can't play that any better if you're Jonathan Abram. He reads the eyes of Murray. He gets a break and a jump on the football. He's able to get that right hand in there, but that could have been a huge play for the Raiders. But you give him one more chance for some heroics here on third and goal with eight seconds left. Or maybe two more. <laughs> Murray, quick pass. That slant doesn't work. Intended for Ertz. Fourth and goal. Now, I don't think Ertz was ready. He didn't even turn his head. So Arizona, two out of three on fourth down today. Yeah, I believe that's Roderick Chamber. He's man-to-man, -man and... Ertz wasn't even looking for that throw. You know, you saw Kyler Murray kind of gesture to him after the play, but certainly not on the same page right there. And here it is, ball game, fourth and goal. And five seconds to play. You'd here like, we go. You'd like to say A.J. Green, but he hasn't been able to come in, come down with the big catch. Murray. Stepping up. Going to run for it. Going to make the end zone for the touchdown. Talk about quieting a crowd. <laughs> Whoa. Man. Well, here now we go. we go for two. Yeah. And the tie. And look, I, I've said this from the beginning that I believe that, you know, for the Cardinals to come back in this game and, and even for them to have a chance, it's, it's got to be Kyler Murray time. Again, he is the best athlete on the field. And he is the one X factor that you really, you really can't defend. It, it, it's, a, it's about the pass rush against Kyler Murray and his ability to create and make magic. That's what this game comes down to here. We get a whistle. Raiders call the timeout before the snap. Vegas takes its third and final timeout. This will be a 30-second timeout. Let's go back to that touchdown run by Kyler Murray. <laughs> so quick. Yeah, it, look, four-man rush, and everybody's sitting back there in the zone, and 
again, when you see those natural lanes open up inside and when you've got a 300-pound defensive lineman trying to get disengaged and get off the block, I mean, that's easy. Now, the Raiders, if you, if you have one criticism, is that you can't, when you're on the goal line, you can't drop that deep into the end zone, right? Because there's not a, there's not a lot of distance. So you've got to kind of, that underneath coverage kind of has to make a wall at the goal line so that you have time to react and come up and make a tackle on Murray. It looks like the best thing going for the Cardinals is to just let Kyler Murray free for all. You got to like your chances, yeah. right? I mean, that's kind of who he is and what he does. Does it end here or do we go to overtime? I think you've got to make, you've got to bring some sort of pressure here. And there is a flag. Offense, five-yard penalty. We'll jump the drive. Wow. Yeah, that's... Wow. That's... How do you let that happen? Brutal. That's a brutal, brutal play for Cardinals. But I, I think, Greg, down here inside the five, inside the ten, you've seen Murray... When he has time, he's been able to dance around and really hurt this defense with his legs. And so that hasn't worked for you. You haven't been able to get him with a four-man rush. So I think you've really got to think about bringing some pressure. And that means if you do, your defensive backs have to be able to hold up in coverage. Now, this looks like a coverage defense, so it's got to be with their front four. From seven yards out for the two points and the tie, Murray directing traffic to the end zone, diving. And the catch is made! <laughs> A.J. Green! Whoa! What a pass. Oh, what a throw. Uh, this throw is almost magical. Over the middle. I don't even know how he found a way to get this ball to A.J. Green with redemption. unbelievable throw right over the middle and just drops it in the smallest of windows incredible play you see him gesturing to his left and AJ Green is the only one who was going right to left uh, I mean that's just unbelievable I think that was Roderick Teamer who was in underneath coverage I mean he's about a half an inch from getting his hand up and knocking down that pass but you can't place that ball any better I mean, what an unbelievable throw. And again, a catch. Redemption from A.J. Green. No matter how this game turns out, what a comeback in this football game by the Arizona Cardinals. They are reviewing that play, we are told. Which they would do with all scoring plays. Wow. Gene Steratore, did you see this? Yeah, it's this angle I was looking at here in the studio too, Greg, and watching the right arm of the receiver as that ball comes down. It appears to me in this one little opening as if the right hand is off of the ball from that angle. Now he's got to finish this and survive the ground. This is a great look here, but he kind of turns right at that point, so you have nothing right there that can tell you you can overturn it. So I'm sure what they're doing is looking at every possible angle they can before they, they go to uh, overtime here, fellas. So, Gene, question, in your estimation, is there, is there enough there that would warrant, you know, overturning this, which would be a huge call? Not at this point, Adam, and I think that's what they're actually doing in New York is you'll go through every possible angle. Nothing that I've seen now tells me that there's been indisputable evidence to overturn. So they'll continue to do what we call empty the bucket, and that yeah. is take as long as they need to to see every possible angle available. But there was, there is a little bit of movement that does add a little gray area uh, element. Am I correct? Most definitely, yes. Yes, there definitely is. And I, again, was looking at the right hand because it initially appeared to be under the football, which gives you a little more confidence that he has it secure. But then at the last minute there, seconds or so, that right hand kind of comes and is on top. The left is underneath as he starts to turn 
And that's the piece that they're, I'm sure, continuously looking at right now to see if there's anything that comes out where they can overturn. The official's in great position. He, he sees it closer than all of us with no one between him. Uh, and that's why this ruling of, of a catch is so important as this process takes place. Gene, thank you. The decision has been made. Here we go. After review, the ruling of the field stands as called. Is it a catch and a two-point try conversion? So the diving catch by A.J. Green means that we head to OT. Okay, gentlemen, over time in the regular season, we're going to play up to one 10-minute period. Both teams are going to have the opportunity to possess the ball unless the first team on offense scores a touchdown or we have a defensive score. Okay? Each team's going to have two timeouts, and all replays will be handled up in the booth. You good? You good? Okay. The coin, the shield side is heads, the T side is tails. Again, Arizona, you're the visiting team. It is your choice. Heads. Heads is the call. It is heads. You want the ball? With the ball? That's right, you're going to kick. Just like flip around. Arizona wins a toss and will receive. Good luck, gentlemen. Welcome back, everyone. We remind you, kickoff of the Bears and the Green Bay Packers. NFC North rivalry extraordinaire, 822 Eastern Time on NBC. So here we go for overtime. Eno Benjamin, deep. Will not get to run this one back, and the touchback puts it back to the 25-yard line. And on the recap, boy, how do you recap a game like this? There's yeah. a quick touchdown pass to Devontae Adams. All Raiders in the first half, and look like, you know, they're on their way to an easy win. And then Kyler Murray started to show up and do some Kyler Murray-type things. And... And the game was on the line when he had to make a play, whether it was scrambling or making some great passes. He came through, and how's that for responding? What a second half for Kyler Murray and this Cardinals offense to get back in this game, and here we go, overtime. Murray, quick pass to Zach Ertz, and that's complete across the 30 to the 33-yard line. The Cardinals did not play an overtime game at all last season. The Raiders were 4-0 in OT in 2021. Greg, I think it's a big advantage for the Cardinals to win the coin toss because the Raiders have been on, their defense has been on the field 51 plays in the second half, and they just coming off an 18-play drive, so they have got to be winded up front, and that's to the Cardinals' advantage. Benjamin. Wrapped up by Divine Diablo. Three yard pickup. And enough for the first down. What a game. Two entirely different football games. First half and second half. The Cardinals held the Raiders to just three second half points. Yeah, it's it, it's incredible. Murray throwing this side complete and out of bounds. The catch is made by Steven Anderson, a tight end out of the University of California. Look at that. It's almost it's almost a mirror image. Yeah. 51 plays in a second half. I mean, that is a lot of plays. And especially, again, like going up against a quarterback like Kyler Murray, who you got to chase him around, and you've got to try and get him on the ground. That is a lot. Second and eight. Murray over the middle, and that's complete. Across midfield, close to the 45-yard line is Marquise Brown. Greg, how fast did Marquise Brown look when he was coming out of his break? He looks like he just shot right out of that break and in stride. He didn't have to slow up one half of a step ball was perfectly in stride he's able to catch it and keep running it's a good thing that Hobbs was so close behind him because that's one of those slants that can go for a touchdown first down Arizona at the 46 of the Raiders whistle 
And this is going to go against the Cardinals. False start. Offense number 86. Five-yard penalty. Mm. Still first down. The veteran Zach Ertz. Now in his second season with Arizona after eight terrific years as a Philadelphia Eagle. Was on a pitch count last week because of his calf. And, you know, this week, only 11 targets. Only eight catches, 75 yards. First and 15 now. I say that in jest, yes, Greg. I know. Yes. That pass is complete. And that's Marquise Brown again. What a game. If I had to pick out one thing that's really the difference, it's kind of been a theme that's been the entire game. It's that in the first half, the pass rush was too much for the Cardinals offense. We really haven't talked about the rush that much here in the second half. It really hasn't been a factor. So the Cardinals have been able to figure out how to neutralize that rush and give Murray some time. On second and seven, that pass is complete. And Darrell Williams is wrestled out of bounds by Nate Hobbs. So another of those, <laughs> we have had a game full of big downs. This is another, third and five. Yes. Murray's made some great throws. The Cardinals also have been, you know, if you're on the Raiders on defense, really what's kind of hurt you is, is the penalties on third down. And so you've got to play clean. Your technique has to be good, which is hard to do when you're tired. But that has really hurt them. So they've got to be clean, and they've got to make the Cardinals earn this if they're going to pick up the first. Arizona 3 for 12 on third down today. Now they're showing a blitz look, but they're keeping one of their safeties back, so they'll probably drop out. The option and the pitch to Williams. And Williams is brought down inside the 40-yard line. Nate Hobbs, Duran Harmon combining for the stop. This was so good by Duran Harmon coming out of the middle of the field. Watch him how he reads it. And he just takes a perfect angle. A perfect angle. And look how aggressive he makes that tackle. If you chop your feet and you play that soft, well, he's just going to go for the first down. I mean, they almost got the first down anyway, but that was a terrific way of running the alley if you're Deron Harmon. And that's what Cliff Kingsbury told us last night. Look, we're going to be aggressive. We've had conversations with our team. We're going to play to win the football game, and that's why they're going for it here on this fourth down. Fourth and one. And the timeout is called. Now, being aggressive is nice. However, if this fails, the Raiders have terrific field position. You, they, do, they do, yes. But you look at, you know, what are the advantages? I've got Kyler Murray, uh -huh. who has been exceptional on fourth down. And that gives you an instant advantage. It really does. And if you look at the reason why they've been able to come back and climb back in this game, especially in the fourth quarter, is because they've been able to win the third and the fourth downs. And so you got to think that, hey, I've got a defense that's been on the field a lot. We've been able to move the ball. We've got some good rhythm. I've got one of the best, if not the best, athlete at quarterback in the National Football League. You know, what's one yard between friends? <laughs> Benjamin in the backfield with Murray. Murray going to throw it deep down the sideline, and he's got a man, and bounced out of bounds oh is Marquise Brown. No way did he hold on to that ball long enough to establish possession. Oh, man, two big plays in a row. Deron Harmon, look at that shot. He comes out, blown coverage. Deron Harmon comes out. Remember, Merrig, their normal free safety, he's out. So Deron Harmon comes in, makes a huge tackle on third down. And then just when you thought the Cardinals had everything they needed, Marquise oh. Brown wide open on the sideline, and Harmon just comes his side of the hash mark and gets that ball out to set up Derek Carr on the 36-yard line. So Derek Carr gets a chance with five and a half to play in OT. Looking outside, 
And that's incomplete. Pass intended for Devontae Adams. It has been a half an hour since Derek Carr has <laughs> been on the football field. I'm telling you, that is, it's incredible. The, the, the Cardinals have just kept them completely off the field. And so they've got to get back on the same page. It, it has not been a good second half. I go back to that one, that one drive where they had three just ugly plays in a row. And that's really the drive that kind of started this slide here in the second half for the Raiders. They just tried to get the ball to Adams. This time Adams is inside. I think you got to try and start to force it to Adams. Pass outside. That's Renfro. Renfro. Brought down about three, four yards short of a first down. Isaiah Simmons with the tackle. And he hasn't seen the field a lot, but, you know, when you watch, he comes. He's showing all the way up in between the center and the guard at the line of scrimmage. And Derek Carr dumps it outside to the flat on Renfro, and Isaiah Simmons just walks him down and shows that great speed in his athleticism to force the third and short. Third and four. They need the 47-yard line for a first down. And a timeout is called. So Carr will go to the sideline to talk things over with his coach while we remind you tonight on CBS begins with 60 Minutes and a wide-ranging interview with President Joe Biden. That's followed by a new big brother, plus the Equalizer and NCIS Los Angeles tonight on CBS. Can any of those thrillers measure up to this? Well, I tell you what, this has been a fun game. It's as, it has a, everything that you want. I remember that because the Cardinals had the ball first, that now a field goal for the Raiders, that wins the football game. Yep. So, you know, they certainly have to convert on this third down, but you've got a pretty stellar kicker who has been exceptional in the fourth quarter. So that is certainly a weapon and something for the Raiders. Daniel Carlson has been automatic on field goal attempts for the last 28 times. Timeout is called by Arizona. So they have used their timeouts here in the OT. The Raiders have one left. You know, on the one hand, you could say that offense of the Raiders is well rested. On the other, is, it, is that enough time? That's enough time to fall a little bit out of sync, perhaps. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, being, on, being in rhythm and getting a chance to just get out there, certainly. Devontae Adams, only two catches for 12 yards in this game is a major, major story. Third and four. One eighty. Carr with time over the middle. Got his man. That is Hunter Renfro. Loose oh. football. Who's got it? The pileup at the forty-yard line. Well, Zaven Collins. I, I think he's the one who initially got beat, and then he hustles. And comes in from behind and then chops the ball out. Raiders say they have it. Let's see what the officials say. That's Foster Moreau climbing out of the pile with the football. And it belongs to the Raiders. Look at that chop. Zaven Collins just hustling because he initially got beat. And he let Renfro get inside, and then he comes in from behind, goes right for the football, and now it's just who can get it there. Unbelievable that Moreau, you know, he's got to outfight two Cardinals to get that football. But what a Arch, game. Arch, I've heard that some terrible things can go on at the bottom of those piles. Yes. I know you like horror movies. Put <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're looking at they're looking at Buda Baker blitzing off to the right side, changing the call. Carr with time, throwing up the middle. Oh, incomplete in and out of the hands of Jalen Thompson. Oh, we remind you once again, kickoff of the Bears Packers game, 8:22 Eastern Time on NBC. <laughs> I can't believe. 
all the opportunities and all the chances that both defenses have had. And that ball just not on the same page as with Devontae Adams and Jalen Thompson, who had three interceptions last year. Well, it has a chance to be a hero. Now, it would have been an incredible interception, but not a good throw by Derek Carr. Second and ten, quick pass outside, and that is complete. That is Moreau, and Moreau fighting for yardage. The ball is loose again. Uh -oh. Picked up by That's the Cardinals. This is Byron Murphy to the end zone for game. the touchdown and the win. I think that's Isaiah Simmons who came over and knocked that ball out, Greg. Unbelievable finish to this game. To an unbelievable game. Watch. Watch Isaiah. How about redemption? Isaiah Simmons comes in like a heat-seeking missile, gets the ball out, and then Byron Murphy with the scoop and the score. Look at that hit by Isaiah Simmons. That has got to feel good. 62-yard return. What a comeback by these Arizona <laughs> oh, Cardinals in the second half. Resilient as it can possibly be. They are still looking at a player on the far side of the field. I believe it would be Hunter Renfro who took that hit. This play is being reviewed. And we've had no official word as yet. Well, as bad as this season, the first six quarters for the Arizona Cardinals has been to have a second half in overtime like this on real. Gene Steratore, what did you see? See, uh, uh, just a great play, guys, and I was looking for all the different elements. First, it definitely is a catch, so it's catch fumble. Then you've got a loose ball scrambling around there. No players near enough for the sideline to be touching the ball while they're out of bounds. No one down by contact when they possess the ball. Defender comes up, picks it clean off the ground, and a great scoop and score in what appears to be a fantastic finish to a great game as well. Great game indeed. He is holding the ball, approaching the goal line. Inside the five and across the goal line, yeah, but just was... barely. Oh, boy, what did that be? Oh. <laughs> I mean, it was looking oh. bad, right? You go into halftime, and you're the Arizona Cardinals. Oh. You're looking around saying, what? in the world is going on. You basically got stomped in the first half. Again, right? And just unbelievable finish. And credit the Cardinals for keep oh. fighting and just to keep hanging in there. Kyler Murray, he shows up when the game is on the line and does what he does. And Here's the defense completely. The ruling of the field stands as called. It is a touchdown.